Now, I'm not a, a paleontologist, but I do have two small kids. So I get to know a lot about dinosaurs these days, and I know that your moral panic over Triceratops is wrong. There was a lot of uh, wailing and eyeing about Triceratops not being real. People were all concerned about, because some scientists released a thing saying that Triceratops was really an immature Taurosaurus. But it's okay, there are rules for this, so you can be cool. Uh, you know, you, they, they, just, they, they don't just rename dinosaurs randomly because they feel like it. I mean, it may feel like it sometimes for some of you, but they really don't. Now, despite everything you heard on the internet and the newspapers and that guy in the bar and, you know, whatever random things you drained up on opium or whatever, <laughs> it's just not true. See, now this, this is a triceratops. Note the frill and the horns, and it's overall ceratopsian shape. They all kind of look like this. It's pleasing green color. I think that's green. Note the torosaurus. Also note its frill and three horns, and overall ceratopsian shape, but it has little holes in its frill. They're pretty similar, really, you know. And here we can, you can't see it so well, but if you look in the bottom corner, there's a baby Triceratops. It has really cute big eyes and little horns. There's an adult Triceratops skull, and they found life stages of Triceratops from, you know, babies to adults. <laughs> Barely legal Triceratops are known from only from a single 65-year-old uh, magazine found in Wyoming. If you can't read in the bottom, it says, Dear Pentaceratops. <laughs> the Taurosaurus, on the other hand, they've only found old ones. Uh, they've only found the ones that have the, the, the holes in the frills that are, that are adults. They've never found a young one. What they have found, though, are Triceratops with uh, holes beginning to develop. So the thing is, they already were suspecting that Taurosaurus and Triceratops might be the same thing. So some, some scientists finally published a paper on it for like these reasons. They were obviously closely related. Uh, but the Triceratops is a, not a younger Taurosaurus. Taurosaurus is a mature Triceratops. <laughs> Despite what that guy said, it's the way it is. Because the earlier names have precedence. Triceratops was described in 1889. Taurosaurus was described in 1891. So Triceratops has precedence, and it keeps the name. So it's good. Now, things do get renamed sometimes. Like the Troodon was called uh, uh, that. <laughs> uh, Paranthropus has been renamed back and forth a few times. And while I was making the slide, I was looking up the blue Catherium, and they renamed it again. But there's exceptions. Names can fall out of use, and they don't use them anymore. Someone actually named this megalosaur femur Scrotum Humanum. <laughs> and strictly, it could be renamed that, but they're not going to. Uh, also, it turns out that Tyrannosaurus had been earlier described as a Manospondylus. But they made up a rule that if a name hasn't been used for 100 years, then you can forget about it. But Brontosaurus, everybody's kind of wondering about Brontosaurus. But Brontosaurus is really totally not the same. Many of you don't like this. My wife was, is still angry about Brontosaurus. But Brontosaurus, it was a, they, they, they put the wrong head from like 40 miles away on the skeleton. And it, and it was com, like a completely different head. It was like way bigger and, and it turns out they actually had small heads. So we got to keep these rules in, in, in place or else it'll get even more confusing because scientists like to come up with new names for species if they can get away with it. Because it's, it's a lot cooler to say that you found a new species rather than finding just, you know, another one of, say, a Triceratops, which they find tons of. So really, we can just rest assured that Triceratops is safe and we don't have to worry about it anymore. And if anybody tells you that Triceratops doesn't exist, you can tell them they're wrong. About as wrong as the 20... 2012 people or whatever. <laughs> so, on Twitter, I'm Captain Tennille. You see me at time to pull the plug. I don't really talk about dinosaurs there, but uh, thank you. Thank you.